Okay, 7-Eleven as I start your message. So for some of you guys, Spirit is helping you at this time, guiding you, supporting you, pushing you, cussing you out, whatever uh, Spirit feels that needs to be done to help you move along in a connection or to a connection or just um, getting a connection. Now, for some of you guys, this is definitely a twin flame. And some of you guys have connected definitely with a soulmate energy. Okay. If you are on my channel, you have done either or whether you are with that person or not. Okay. Um, changes is going to happen. These are changes that need to be made or you're being pushed to make in order for this to happen. This can also be spirit saying changes need to happen. You need to do this and you're going to have to do this. Now, for some of you guys, you could um, be in between connections. Okay. This can also be um, like two connections coming in, but they have significant meaning and spirit has arranged for you to meet these people and encounter with them. Now, for some of you guys, this could even be you working things out or you and your twin flame about to come into a connection or connect in some sort of kind of way. All right, let's go. We ready. Let's get it. Okay, guys. All right, so this is going to be for all signs. These are general messages. So only take what is for you. Simply leave what is not. Make sure that you are also subscribed to your area's only placements. Love, Tarot as well all right i will be reading all the signs and energies here that i see okay if you don't know already baby i am your shaman empress aka the shaman hummingbird baby okay let me come in here come in here let me take a look at you all right again these are general so take what is for you and just leave what is not okay i'll read all the signs and i'm going to read all the energies here messages for the collective this is going to be for all signs I'm getting hot. Someone here is hot and bothered. You could be feeling that because of the connection that's coming in or the energy that's changing for the connection. Maybe spirit is steaming things up or pushing you and this is steaming things up. Um, however you look at it. All right. This is just for the collective. Let's see. This is just for the collective. <clears throat> For the collective, please. Okay, here we are. Oh, I cannot make it up. Damn! I love what I do. Woo, child. We got the Six of Swords. Okay, um, you're being guided. Point blank, period. I can't make it up. We definitely going to also get a spirit ancestor message as well. Okay, so... All right, I'm sorry. They just showed me what deck to use. Okay, yep, the chariot. Oh, my. You're being guided. Now, for some of you guys, this is someone here that also, if this is not you, then your person is going through this, and they're being guided towards you. The six of swords and the chariot. Okay? They could feel all of a sudden um, spirit uh, telling them things. Spirit is speaking to you guys. Um, also, do you see that bird there? Okay, messages. Messages has already been exchanged. Ooh, child, you feel like reading a day. Yep, the Knight of Coins. So someone here, is, even though it might be slow, they might be like slow moving, Leo Virgo energy. They might take their little good old ass time, but they still got the message. Okay, um, here. Yeah, we have justice. Okay, this is a contract that's coming in for you. It's like whatever's going to happen, is going to be justified. Does it mean that you're not going to get challenged? Absolutely not. Of course you're going to get challenged. That's life. You have to get challenged. You have to learn lessons. That's really what we came here to do. If you're not doing that, I don't know what you're, you're wasting time. I don't know if you're letting the years go by. We, we, I, I, what, were you, what are you doing? This is what we have to do to extend. This is what we have to do to elevate. So let spirit do what it needs to do for you. Okay? Because um, this is going to bring you justice. Period. Ooh, we like it. Okay. The King of Wands. Oh, and the Page of Swords. What'd I tell you? <laughs> the Page of Swords is in reverse, but we got the King of Wands. So I'm going to just tell you right off the rip. 
this person lies. And this is someone here that's going to lie about something. It could be something that they're hiding. Let's see. What's this? Yeah. Uh huh. The King of Swords. It might, I feel like this is you. And so, for some of you guys, it's going to put you on alert. It could even, like, make you kind of stand off. It's 717 on the clock. Spirit is, like, um, really on this. For some of you guys, it's almost like you're, you're going to catch this person in a lie. <laughs> Shit. Yes, you are. And as soon as that happens, it's going to bring burdens, and it's going to fuck with somebody's health or anxiety. Because the Ten of Wands is also Virgo. Energy is connected to the House of Health. Um, first of all, you're a truth seeker. And for some of you guys, it's like you, when you know something ain't right or you might not feel. Some of you guys are empaths. You'll figure it out eventually or you will work your own alchemy and find it out. You can have like a blue aura around you. Yeah, you communicate very well with spirit. <laughs> you could be like a truth speaker, seeker. Um, it's like, you know... Um, your friends come to you, your family come to you, and then you don't know they come to you because they know you're going to get down to the bottom of some shit. It's like, that that's who you are. So this is somebody here, to be honest with you, you know, it, it, this is what they struggle with. I like to stay in human time because no matter, no matter how spiritually bond you are with somebody, everybody has their struggles. Yep, the Ten of Swords. And whatever, you're going to feel betrayed by the something. This is somebody that lies. This could be also somebody here. Uh, um, they lie about... Someone here could put on like a front. They lie about what they're thinking. They lie about what you might already know. It's like they know you know shit and they'll still lie. The King of Swords and the, and the Ten of Swords. And then you end up like feeling betrayed by this person because that's that's it, it, it. And then there it's like, well, you already knew I asked you or similar last week. I figured this out and I asked you and you still fucking lied. What's what else is here? Yeah, the hangman. And it's like, even if it gets you caught up, even if it costs you to stand still or stagnant, it's like, you know, you knew that, you know, this was going to, it's like somebody here um, knows that they could put you in a sticky situation, but they'll still lie. Blink, blink, period. This is somebody here that's going to lie. They're going to lie, per period. This is, this is, this is, this is getting on my nerve. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, the Ace of Coins. This is, oh, child. Now, for some of you guys, we got three people here. Mm. Some of you um, guys could have like two teenagers. You, some of you guys got two teenage boys. But something here is going to make you also stand, uh, um, like kind of get, uh, kind of step back, kind of look forward. Now, this is three people here. Now, someone here also... Now, someone here brought it to the police is also what I'm picking up or could have got this person in some kind of legal trouble. Somebody here is going to lie about... I don't know if this is like... Yeah, honey. Jail. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yup, the devil. Somebody here is going... Okay. This person here lies. They lie about who they with and what they're doing for somebody here. Somebody here is going to be with somebody when they get caught up. And that's how somebody's going to find out that they are like a cheater. That's why they lied. Because they don't want you to know who they were in a car with. Or who they were with when this shit happened. What's this? Yup. I can't make it up. God damn. The queen of swords, the chariot, and the high motherfucking priestess. It's like whoever their secret rendezvous um, is on the side. I don't know. We got to find out who this Queen of Swords is.
Now, for some of you guys, all three of you guys can have like air in your chart. Your person could be younger. This could be also someone here that... And this is also somebody here that lies about their age. This King of Wands... You know, King of Wands is sexual. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, for some of you guys, I don't know if this is you or this goddamn person. Because the king and the queen of swords is a couple. And I feel like you're pulling the king of swords. Um, so, I don't know where you are in this. But this somebody here is lying about something. Somebody here is like... They don't want you to know that their ex came and got them. Their ex picked them up. They could still be going through some kind of legal issues with an ex. Or this is a damn third party. The nine of ones are three. Yep, they are. Somebody here, they oh, they're still in court. That's the truth. Someone here is also in court with an ex. The fuck? Yeah, they are. And it's so, it's it's gotten bad, it's gotten toxic. They could also like, um, this. so this is what they're hot and this is what they don't want you to know about. Now this could be also someone here that, that got in some kind of trouble when they was with this third party. And you don't know about it. And they gotta go to court with them. If this person had... Like in like a sad person. Or they were still like in a connection and they hid it from you in some sort of way. They could be like, you know, um, like they still have dealings with this person. They were hiding that they were still seeing them. And something else was going on here. And they per this person could have got caught up with this person in some kind of way. Legally, and now they have to show up for court. This could be spiritual court. Oh, fuck. Yup. And this is when the truth is going to come out about what happened in the past. And this definitely could be about money or where all their money is, went, going. Someone here is also having to pay like a lawyer. Yeah, they could, they're fighting about this. They could be opposed to help this person pay a lawyer. You don't know none of this. That was a damn it moment. Damn. Huh? So this is somebody that still have a connection with a third party. They could still see this person time to time. They could still be left a door open to see maybe, you know, if it was ever going to work out. So they had feelings for this person. They still think about this person. And they were still seeing this person, but they were lying to you about it. And something is like, whatever, we're going to look into that because I'm going to pull an angel number for you. And they had, they got into, they could have also kept in contact because they got some legal issues together with this. They're not telling you everything that happened in the past between them and them person. That's why they still have a connection. That's why they are still with them. Now, for some of you guys, somebody here is going to be lying about, they could have seen this person recently or when y'all talk about this. I'm going to tell you why this energy is so fucking crazy to me right now. Because I just picked up on a whole motherfucking other person. There's a new person. There's you. And there's an ex-couple. Child, this is some mother plenty. Uh, uh, this new person, um, you're going to meet this new person. This could be somebody um, that you're going to like slowly open up to. And possibly build. That's what I was picking up. Didn't I say like two relationships? So this is what's going on. And it looks like when you connect with somebody, this is the situation. But there's somebody new coming in. <laughs> and then that could leave you at a hangman to make a choice about how you're going to move or what you're going to do. Oh my gosh. Whether this is a man or a woman.
I feel like, now for some of you guys, somebody here likes to pillow talk or they're going to talk to a person that they, uh, about the situation. This person that you're with currently or that you're going to connect with currently does not want you to know nothing about where their life is, what they did, their karmic, their attachment, and what's going on in the past. They got shit going on together. Some of it could be legal. They could have um, been helping this person or promised to help this person get through shit. This could be also someone here that's going through a divorce and they're lying about what really happened in their marriage, what really happened, and they don't want you to know about Shit, their ex, their ex fiance, their ex person. But some of you guys is like you already know they motherfucking lies. And they still going to lie. That's how serious they don't want you. They just don't want you in their life or in their like their past, like their business. But that shows you red flags. We also in the era of aqua areas, the new world. What stands on truth. That's another reason why you're going to find out. Ain't nothing hitting for no motherfucking body. I don't give a f what you are. We all are under judgment. Everything's going to come out. And it looks like what's going to test this relationship is the fact that you're going to meet somebody new. And we're going to take a look at this. Like, I got to break all this shit down because I got this. I got to see. This is crazy. Um, okay, so let's do it. We got one six one one. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, guys, angel number one six one one means you can focus your mind on creating positive changes toward towards a more balanced life through manifesting and manifesting. It's like you're manifesting. Two people, I can't make this up, but just it's like you meet somebody, y'all get into a connection, and they just lie. They're gonna lie about every motherfucking thing. They're gonna lie about the fact they might not even tell you that they was married. They might not even tell you that they are going to. I don't know why people do this, and it's like it's going to come out anyway. First of all, why would you lie about going to court? Anytime court is involved, you just need to be honest about the situation. You might know something, but they're going to keep you out. They're not even going to tell you the day they have to go to court, see this person in court. This is a divorce that could have been going on for some time. This is someone here that's been suppressing their feelings, right? They've been hot in their cups. That's there's no cups here. Because they don't want you to feel it's like they even tr they're trying to guard your intuition so you don't even tap in to the feeling that something the fuck is wrong and off, but there's something that's gonna come out literal. And then you got a new person coming in. So we're gonna take a look at this. First of all, I I need to look at this situation here that they have that they're hiding from you currently with somebody. You'll never know that this person has court next month on the 26th. You'll never know that they have been in court on and off um, for the last few weeks to maybe even a month to a year with somebody. There's two major betrayals here. And that's why you feel so much betrayed. For the first part here, it's like you're you're going to feel the pressure when you are betrayed. But it's like the second thing you find out, you're going to feel absolutely stabbed in the motherfucking back. Because everything they say, they might can lie. Someone here also could be, um, they could also have like somebody picking them up in a secret car or some shit. So you, you, they don't even want you to, like, they don't want to be noticed. Is also what I'm picking up with that high priestess in the chariot. Um, this could be someone here that, like I said, they could have also was going to, like, make up with this person. They could have even been dealing with this person. You know how people be in separate marriages and it takes years and they, like, to in the marriage and they end up, like, messing around a little bit. And it's like, well, let's see what happened. Like, you don't know. Not, they, ha they have hid all this from you. This is somebody that just met you. They like you. Now, someone here is also... Um, and this is someone here that's also trying to, like, block your intellect, your memories. 
They don't want you to know. They don't want you to like figure out nothing. So they lie about the like the whole energy. They lie about their cups. They lie about, you know, they might tell you, oh, I want to go do something. They might tell you, oh, I had to go mail off something important. You know, where were you at? Well, what were you doing with their time? Show me more of this King of Swords. Damn. The Nine of Pentacles, yep. This is someone here, to be honest with you, yep. Four of Wands. When they're by themselves, they act like they're single. They could be telling you and this ex-person that, um, uh, uh, that they're single. Okay? I'm sorry. Acting this way around you. Sorry, guys. I'm getting this card. Hold on. Hold on, because you know I got you. We got to get down to this shit. Yeah, the Seven of Wands. This is somebody here to be... Oh, my gosh. Every time they connect with this person or they have to see this person, for some of you guys when around, like, this could be, a, I keep hearing court proceedings, they pick a fight with you. Yep, they do. Three of Cups. Yep, because they got to see this motherfucking Queen of Swords right here. Yep, and that's the Ten of Wands. Oh, my God. Yeah, Three of Swords. Oh, my gosh. What the fuck? Nine of Cups. But they feel like that's the best thing to do to keep you to keep you at it like a distance. What's the Queen of Swords? Oh, my gosh. What's the Queen of Swords? This is crazy. The Seven of Pentacles, yup. Every time they got to see this person, they know it might take a little bit of time. They could have also, to be honest with you, this is somebody here... I'm going to be, uh, I'll keep it a B. They might have not have thought that they were going to pursue a relationship with you. Oh my gosh, the Knight of Wands in reverse. They f this person, when they was connected to you. Yup, they did. Seven of Swords. Oh my gosh. And it has brought a new hell. Because if they were already going through the course of a separation or a motherfucking divorce, it changed things because this person. And that's exactly what I was picking up. That's what I was saying. You know, I mean, I've read somewhere it took somebody like six years to get a divorce. And they made up like twice through the fucking six years. This is something similar to that. Yep, Ten of Cups. And this could have been because they have a family with this person. Or somebody that they, you know, they were happy with at one point in time. Yep, the Queen of Cups. They got a family with this person. This could be somebody's baby's mom or baby's dad. Damn. Yep, Six of Swords. That's the Six of Swords. Let, let's see. Let's let's get an ancestor message. Hold on, y'all. They want me to get a spirit message. Hold on, child. Damn. What you, this is like. Hold on, because I don't feel like pausing the damn video. Hold on, child. Y'all know they be having me go. I be having a little beat with me. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. I found it. Hold on, honey. Let's see. Ooh, yep, we got leadership and reciprocity, honeybee. This is someone here to be honest. They're counting out their blessings. They're trying to, uh, like, figure things out. Now, I don't feel like at one point in time, yep, because they have to sacrifice this person. And this person knew when they slept with this person. But this could have been at a time where they just, you know, when they met you, to be honest with you, they were lying because they wasn't taking you serious. Yep, freedom. Now they want out. Damn! They want out. This person fucked up. Yep, and that's the motherfucking truth. Jackal, the truth. That's the truth. And we also have bison, which is ritual. They could have slept with this person more than one time. This could have been going on a little while. And it's like you meet this person and they end up like liking you. Now they're lying about everything. They end up, maybe when they first met you, they wasn't really thinking. And enough of it is like, okay, you sexy, you cute. The King of Wands is very hot, very sexy. Uh, areas to, to source energy. You know, um, you know, now flip this around because I don't know if this is you or this person. So y'all was just kicking it and then it grew. And then now this person is seeing you as like somebody they could actually want to like hold on to. Now this could also be something if they're going to let this person go and go through a divorce and it's financial. You know, infidelity. 
plays a big part in like who's going to win in like a court proceeding when it comes to divorce. Oh my gosh. Hold I need to take a look at you real quick. What's the King of Wands? Show me. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me see the King of Wands. Child. I'm gonna be Ooh. Yep, the Knight, of, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And see, this person was already going, like, it's like they meet you, they slow things down because they kind of like you and they start gaining interest. Now this is somebody who, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, they don't even want, they want out. This person wants a relationship. Yep, Seven of Swords. But now they're really going to have to be extra sneaky, like extremely sneaky. Yep, Four of Swords. This person is going through some kind of healing process alone they know they're gonna have to be extra sneaky here because they're trying to avoid also a healing process because they asked and lied yeah the king of this is the king of swords good lied oh my gosh show me the page of swords for some reason they want me to use this deck so i am get the world court and the nine of ones now this is someone here that's like their world going to be fucked up. They're going to be hurt if you find out what the fuck happened or figure it out. And it looks like you are. What's the uh, page of swords in reverse, child? This is crazy. Mm. What fell over? Yup. This person is trying to confuse you on purpose. We got the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Coins. The Sun Court, because they don't want you to have enlightenment. If you figure this out and you are, it's going to be a big ass tower. Look at that. A big ass tower. Yup. Seven of Wands and a Fool. So they're blocking, they're going to do whatever it is for you, like, to block you from figuring this out. This is why they pick fights with you around this time. This could be someone here. Every time they know they got to see this person or face this person, they get real motherfucking grumpy. Um, yep, the Eight of Swords. Damn. And they do what they got to do. Oh, what is this? Something fell up. Oh, oh yeah. This King of Swords. That's what we're clarifying. Yep, the Five of Swords. But that's their plan. This person feels like, yep, Two of Swords. They go, they're living, it's like they are living a double life. Because they're hot in the whole situation here. But this is like their way. This is like, um, you know, they feel like, you know, they got a plan. Maybe they want to make it up to you or something. This is somebody here fucked this up. This was the wrong way to deal with this situation. And that's why it's like, because we have like, Three energies going on here. And then one of the energies, it, you know, it, it's a connection. So it's like y'all's connection, your person that's hot in this situation, and you have a new person here. What else is going on? Yup, accident. And it's going to be a big-ass accident because they should have just kept it fucking real with you. This is someone here, to be honest with you. We had Somebody here is like, no, nah, maybe I should consider co-parenting. Because they're going to say, well, I did this because we have a family. And that could have been true at first. But they should have been honest. Yep, now they want to make you a promise. I can't make this shit up. That's exactly what this is. Uh, and it's like everything's going to be okay. And I don't think you believe yeah. that anymore. Yep, because they want victory. No, you don't. No, you don't. This whole situation is going to make you nervous. Let's get a written message from this person. And then we're going to take a quick look in, at this new person here. What's the written message? Yep, I knew it. What I tell you? Oh, my gosh. Y'all motherfucking soulmates. And soulmates go through shit, too. You're so special, though, because y'all are soulmates. That's what this person is stuck on. They figure out y'all soulmates. And once they if they realize that, it's like, but they fucked up already. Yup. Oh, my. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Okay, what's this? Mm, gaslight. Sorry for gaslighting you. I can't make this shit up. Oh, my gosh. Focused on money. They could have been trying to get their finances. I'm telling you, there's some shit about, like, you know, you got to be divorced, but you also got to be in some kind of right. Or something. Like that shit with Jeezy that's going on. Like infidelity. If somebody cheated, then it's like it, it forfeits the... I don't know. Some shit like that. Yep. Is it true? Are you dating somebody else? We're going to check out this new person because you're going to meet somebody else. And you could feel somebody some kind of way. This is somebody here that's going to be obsessed. Now, for some of you guys, if you meet somebody else and start dating because you feel like this person lied and betrayed you and they did, um, you know, you are this person's favorite. They're going to want you to unblock them. Look, I'm sorry. Damn. And that's when they're going to become uh, extremely obsessed with you. I just want to see. what else. Show me something else. Thank you. Yep. 
with this other relationship, Eight of Swords. Because this is someone here, to be honest, they had another situation before they came towards you. Um... Because you're representing the king of ones as well. Or like I said, or you are the king of ones with a baby's mama. Yep. The full card. Now they feel foolish. This is someone here, to be honest. It's like they were going to stick and hold on to somebody for a family. And now they realize they want love. And now all they, they, feel, they feel like they can have love and still be there for their family. So at one point in time, I was like, I'm going back to this person. We got family, this, that, boom, boom. You know, they was gaslighting you. They was lying about you. Now they, then they realize you guys were soulmates and they realized, no, nah, you know what? We're always going through this. Um, we're always it's the king and the queen of swords situation here. And I'm going to just accept it for what it is. I finally found somebody. It's like the more they spent with you, the more time they get with you, they realize that you you're, you're their favorite, and it's because y'all soulmates. Now, this is somebody here that's like, nah, I'm going to do what they should have did when they first fucking met you. Or they should, that's why you never, what's the saying? You never open a door until another one is closed or some shit like that. That's what this person did. <sighs> All right. Now, let's look at this new person. I'm going to pull, um, no matter of fact. Yeah, because this new person could be coming in as a villain. That's why I'm attracted to these cards. So let's pull the villain. Let's see what's going on with this new person real quick. Let's take a look. Give me something on the Ace of Coins. Strong Earth Bender Energy. All right, someone here could have strong earth placements. Let's take a look real quick. Oh. <sighs> Boundaries and a strength card. Uh-huh. Now, for some of you guys, I, I feel like these you got two people here fighting over you. Or fighting for your attention. Um, yep, the tower. Damn. I'm Damn sorry. It. Woo shit. Yeah, because they want they they want to be in a relationship with you. So you got someone you gonna have to make a fucking choice. Damn. Oh, who you wanna be with. Mm, mm, mm. So Child, give me something else. Give me something else on this uh, Ace of Coins. Child, this is crazy. Woo, shit. What's the, uh, um, uh, yep, Ace of Pentacles. Here it is again. This is him. This is someone here that could be very spiritual. This is a soul. Can, I can't make it up. Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody here that really wants to be with you. They, um, you are pulling relationships. It must be time for you to get in a relationship. Um, yep, child. You, now, for some of you guys, this could be someone here that's a single parent as well. Whether this is a man or a woman. This could be someone here that still has kids. You could be like, um, yeah, uh-uh. This person is, um, still wants kids. They could have tried in a relationship. It didn't work. Somebody was being sneaky or some shit like that. But they want to give you an offer, though. And for some of you guys... You know, this person, everybody, okay, this person is struggling. This person, this is also somebody here, um, you know, they could have lost money. Or they're having money, yeah, they are, they're having some kind of money issues here. Yeah, honey. And this could be someone here that got like a little criminal history here. Just a little bit, okay? Yeah, you, you know, like... Every relationship has their good and bad. So, you know, for me, I'm never going to just feed you the good and don't tell you what you need to be worried about because we all have that in life. So this is somebody here that might have like a little criminal past, like a little criminal background. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody here that believes the ace of coins to the queen of coins. They want to make you an offer and the sex is good. Oh, my gosh. Let's just get a message from this new person. What is going on? Why do I deserve somebody like you? I need to figure myself out. This is, I told you, this is someone that's going through some legal, legal issues. Oh, I told you the sex is good. <laughs> Sexual desire. Damn, what you got going on, child? Oh, child. Uh, I can't stop thinking about you. Mm. Any sexual desires. But they are, fig this is, you push this person to figure out their shit. Or they could be like ready to deal with something here um, because they want a relationship and they want to show up. They want to be a grown-ass person. Like, for you, with you, why is it that you love me? Yep. And it's like, damn. They could even question herself. This is also somebody because of, you know, this little legal background. Maybe with the Queen of Pentacles, she's wifey, she hubby. It's like, damn, you know, I never... They feel, they know that you deserve a lot. They see that. 
Child, I don't know who you are, honey, but you got this shit popping. All right, what's the overall feelings and emotions? Hold on, y'all. They're showing me these cards. Oh, my gosh. Let's just um, close this up, honey. Mm, what's the feelings and emotions here? Drinks of pain, honey. Somebody. Oh, I knew I was going to see. Why didn't I fucking say it? Now, somebody here for a play. I feel like, I just feel like this person here, mind games, drinks of pain. Because they was playing with your mind at first and you caught on. That shit's going to come out. We're in the era of awkward areas. It's just best to keep shit real. Like unfinished business. And I feel like it's coming from this person. Yep. But you're going to this it's going to you're going towards this other person. What else is here? You have ancestors. I told you your spirit team is guiding you. Um, yeah, this card is about a person having two people and you're going towards this ace of coins because this shit over here, this might be too much going on. Or for some of you guys, you might just move back towards this person. The witches, there's talk though. Yeah, because it's time for you to figure out, like, who do you love or what you want. Child, this is a fucking T message. Damn, yep, time out. Damn. Damn, we got to hit the button, child. Yep. Damn. Woo. Honey, Valentine's Day came in with a motherfucking dang. What's the love oracle message? Woo. Came in with a bang, honey. All right. All right. They just showed me a deck to use. What's the... Uh, uh, uh. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, Juliet in reverse. Why? Because you're going to have to pick a Romeo. Damn. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yep, fall in love. Child, these people are in love with you. You got two people in love with you. Two Romeos. You're going to have to figure it out. Okay, because you can't beat Juliet. To both these people. Whether you are a man or a woman, where you are in this, you know. Damn. What's the uh letters here? The ape choir is involved. That's why you're being protected. I told you. Your spirit team is here. Uh-huh. And this could be happening in a new eclipse, which is right around the corner where Mars and Venus is going to make an excellent planet. They're going to enter junction. They're going to cross. Yep. Third eye. Some of you guys, it's like Archangel Michael's going to show you a lot of things as well. It's almost like you're going to see and know the decision you have to make before you actually make it. But you still have to go through the process. Whew. Child. All right. What's the oracle? Yep. Mm -mm. Rescue. Escape from captivity and restriction. I, I feel like somebody here, um, I feel like this new person wants to be your shining armor. But they got a little issue. I, this is a difficult um, choice. This is. Because this ex, to be honest with you, I don't agree about the way they went about it. But still. Okay, they might, you know. Man, damn. I just got to hit the button. Yep, sacrifice. It just keep coming out. Child. Oh, my gosh. What's the oracles? Ooh. Yep. Mm. What's the oracle message? Mama Yamaja, your grandmother could be guiding you as well. Um, for some of you guys, you could also have, like, um, your grandmother right now that's here. Some of you guys are sons and daughters of Mama Yamaja, which is, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Dreams. Um, I feel, you, some of your spirit team, they're going to show you stuff in your dreams. Yeah. Yeah. You could be an avatar. Of Mama Yamaja's or a son or daughter of hers. Sanctuary. Yeah. Yeah, honey. Some of you guys have to do it. They're going to also show you how to do like some kind of spiritual cleansing. So you can see better or something. And you're going to start getting like downloads and shit. And for some of you guys, this is your grandmother on the other side doing this. What's the sound of playing this shout? Yep. Mm -mm. Yep. Think. You want to get downloads. It's, you're already going to know, though. What's the sign of the planets here? What the future? North Node. Where your future is. This is... Oh, my gosh. Pisces. Sensitivity. Yes. You're going to feel this. Damn. Tension. These motherfuckers might fight. Like, if you was to be honest and say, I'm going in another situation. I actually want to choose a relationship. I did a lot of thinking. That might cause riffraff. And... and, and 
somebody literally wants to fight over you. This is wild. <laughs> I got to tell you the truth. Oh my gosh. All right. I love you all. Stay dope. We're going to shut it down right there. Decisions, 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 honey. That's all I got to say. All right. I hope this helps you out in more ways than one. Don't forget to hit that bell. Hit all that keeps you tapped in, tuned in, and you will be notified, baby, when your messages are ready, honey. Decisions for you. All right. Um, I still want to say congratulations. <laughs> Um, here, but it looks like you're going to make the rash choice. I love you all. Stay dope. Next video upload. I'll share your name. Mine.